Are you trying to make your game go from this to this? Well, then today I'm going to show you how to install mods in 10 easy steps in 2023. A lot has changed since our previous mod tutorial two years ago, so let's get right into it. Step one, you're going to want to install Battlefront 2 on PC if you haven't already. Now, there are tons of different options, but I've always found Battlefront 2 on Steam is the easiest for myself, and if you're lucky, there's usually a lot of sales you might be able to pick up on. Step two, install WinRAR. I'll be sharing the link below on where to install it. Step three, install Frosty Mod Manager. Now this is where you're gonna be launching all of your mods from. Again, I will share the link in the description. Step four, delete the mod data folder. You must locate where Battlefront 2 is on your PC in order to do this. Then you're gonna to wanna to go and click where it says mod data and then delete. Step five, run Frosty as an administrator. Right click Frosty, then properties, compatibility, and run as an administrator. Step six, locate Battlefront 2. Step seven, download mods from nexusmods.com. I recommend creating an account there and from there having Battlefront 2 as a save game for easy access to the mods there. And from there, find the mods you like. You can search in the search engine for some, you can find the recent new mods added or even the top rated mods in the community over the years. These can include characters, maps, enhancements to lightsabers, or maybe even something goofy like this. Step eight, here's where a lot of people have issues in 2023. Now with the removal of origin, you must access Battlefront 2 through the EA app, even if it's you install it on Steam. So therefore, head over to Tools, Launch Options, and make sure your launch option is set to EA Desktop. This should fix any issues you may have. Step nine, launch Battlefront 2. And step 10, enjoy your mods. If any further issues persist, they may come from outdated mods or unsafe mods for multiplayer. Make sure to check the description for mods when installing them and let me know in the comments below if this worked for you. Last but not least, happy modding and may the force be with you always.